Hello, this is Al from ZPanel Community and Open Source. Uh, today I'm going to install a copy of ZPanel X, the latest version, 10.1.0, on a CentOS 6.4. Anyway, let's start. I have gone to zpanelcp.com and I have clicked on the download. As you can see here page here you can find all the details on how to install it on CentOS and Ubuntu or if you want you can upgrade from the earliest version today I'm going to install it on a 64-bit CentOS 6.4 now the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to click the store and I'm going to download it now Click on this one, go folder, and I'm going to drag and drop on my desktop. There we go. This is the first step. Now, I already got the CentOS installed on my server. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, log in using PuTTY. On SSH and I'm going to log in as a root. And I'm going to put the actual uh, password. Close this for a second. There we go. This is the first step. Okay. Now, once I logged in, I'm going to upload the actual file to the server using FileZilla. I'm going to put exactly the same IP. same username in this case is going to be root for me and the password and logically it's not 21 it's going to be 22 there we go now this is the actual root of the server and I'm going to upload the installer Here we go. Now this is the second step. Now once you got the installer done, we need to start with the installation. Let's see if the file is inside, as you can see is here. All right. Now I'm going to make this file executable. So what I need to do is I'm going to write chmod, cmod, plus x. And of course, the name of the file as it is already when I have dragged and dropped. So now, once you do that, you need to install the pretty quiet package. So I'm going to write yum install. LD Linux. Dot so dot two base curve I'm going to press yes and now I 
always comes up this one but anyway let's go for the installation that's complete now I'm going to start installation So it's going to be dot four slash and the name of the actual script. There we go. We start installation. Now we're make, going to make the screen a little bit bigger. So I'm going to say yes as Y um, to agree. It's going to be for me Europe, London. Now I'm going to change this one to my server. In this case is going to be cp.ag2000.tk. Those are the domains that I register just for the training purpose, you know, to just do those tutorials. I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to put down the public IP. Now the public IP I do apologize for this, I don't know why it's always coming up. But okay, I'm going to put the public IP of this server. I don't know why it came always the wrong one. But in this case is the one I use for only those uh, tutorials. Press enter. Press yes. But before I do that, um, I'd like to explain a little bit about uh, your router. Now, you want to make sure, of course, that uh, before you do that, you modify your router and you tell the router that the server is the IP I just used. For example, you have to use your external one and you have to redirect all the ports, logically, uh, you can find more information on our forum, but the most important one is going to be uh, number 80, 21. Uh, if you want the SSH, you can do 22. And, you know, for the FTP or any other things. Now I'm going to press yes, as I already done it.
because it's going to take a long time I'm going to uh, pause a little bit the, the video and I'm going to resume as soon as coming to an end Um, the installation is finished, the program is, is connected of course, um, now what you need to do is you want to make sure that you get all the information here, uh, you've got the Z panel username and the password, and the MySQL password as well, so what I usually do, I already create a details um, file, where now I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it here so save that save it, make sure right, so I'm going to close this one uh, as the service restarted It shouldn't be long. Here we go, let's start if it works. Now I'm going to write the original uh, IP to make sure. And as you can see, we got Z panel CP installed on a CentOS 6.4. By the way, I know this is the new layout of the panel. Now let's uh, see if we can get in. Z admin. I'm going to copy and paste the password. I'm going to say remember me. I'm going to save the password and guys, here we go, we got the the latest Z panel installed on a copy of a CentOS 6.4 64 bit. And I must admit, uh, the the guys done a great great job with the new panel. Uh, it's fantastic. I am totally speechless. I really like the the new graphics and it's quite responsive as well. That's perfect. It's working amazingly well. The DNS manager as well. Logically there is no domains yet. Database management just fantastic oh we got the backup as well now server admin let's see the service i think it's just a cell around 3 gigahertz with 1.5 gig of ram And as you can see, works perfectly well. Go back to the panel. Uh, well, what can I say? Great job, Balin, and great job, Caffeine, and all the rest of the team. Uh, it's fantastic. Don't forget to come to the Z panel uh, support forum where you can find all the latest information and you can have uh, the support. So you can have the premium support. I think they call it the priority one. 
and what can I say more uh, thanks again for watching my tutorials I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you uh, subscribe and follow me on blog and Twitter and most of all thank you to all the viewers who are sharing my videos all the time and uh, maybe you have realized lately on some of the videos I have um, enabled uh, comments so if you want to leave any you comments, know understand technology sorry about this if you want to leave any comments please do so and I'll try my best to answer everybody thanks again and I'll see you next time for the next uh, tutorial